hello guys what's up welcome back to my channel in case you are joining me for the first time my name is grace and you are highly welcome today's video guys i'm going to be sharing with you i'm breaking down what makeup is really all about there are lots of videos on youtube that talk about makeup but there is this particular thing that you need to know when we are talking about makeup first thing that will come to your mind is transformation yes makeup is a transformation There's another look that will come after makeup so you just be wondering like is this me but there are different types of makeup that transform you there are some that will keep you on your low key like just your normal self then there are other ones that will actually blow you out you just start wondering if it is you first thing that you need to do is to moisturize your face you have to have this mindset that moisturizing your face is just like a cream like if you want to cream your body you need to to bait you need to sponge yourself out then you go to the cream part of it so that is just like a step of makeup you have to moisturize you prime then before your foundation so first thing that i'm going to share with you is just to spray i'm going to use this my normal spray that i use this is aloe fresh setting spray and i'm going to spray that all over my face what this does is just like to protect your skin against any form of harsh products that might destroy your face there are some skin that are very sensitive so you have to just moisturize and prime your face before any other thing after spraying my face i'm going to prime my face you can use any primer that is suitable for you or the one that you normally use but for me i have like this crazy oily face so there are types of makeup if you it's just for you to discover the fact that you have oily face or you don't have but if you have a dry dry face you can use products that are very very hydrating but if you have like an oily face you can make sure that use a mattifying product that is going to go a long way because you don't want to finish your makeup then you start seeing all that creasing part of it that is so disgusting and you don't want to have that the number one thing that we did is to spray with my moisturizing spray then i prime after priming i'm just going to tap it and blend that into my skin that is basically going to protect my skin from any harsh and uh, any harsh product the third step that you want to do is if your face is a dry like if you have like an oily face guys you have to mask your face so i'm using this face cream i'm going to list everything down in the description for you and if you have been watching my video you know me with this i'm going to use this to just set anything that pertains to oil on my face and that is where the whole thing lies like you need to know the type of moisturizer you use you need to know the type of um primer you use then you need to know the type of face cream that goes with your face after you might have discovered your primer you have discovered your moisturizing and you have discovered your setting spray next thing that you need to know is your foundation okay like there are some people that like their makeup to be vibrating but when if you are vibrating your makeup or your face you have to know the fact that you need a skin beat like a normal skin beat your makeup should match with your skin it should match with your body like when your face is glowing your skin too should make sure that it glows into it together you don't have to look fair on your face then your neck um or your body is dark <laughs> no that is not a way to get a nice makeup or that is not the beauty that we are talking about that is why when you see some makeup gurus you see them glittering into another thing that is because they have that sense of matting their face with the best foundation that goes with their skin type. You just have to use the nice product and the perfect blend out and the one that suits your skin.
after your foundation is on point the next thing that you want to do is to highlight your face normally some people don't like to highlight their face but i prefer or i would advise anybody that wants to get a nice bit to highlight your face because highlight is part of the process because makeup is a process makeup is a creativity so you have to follow these steps to get that perfect end you can't be a dark skin girl then you went and be using like the one that has like the fairest concealer ever no you have to use the one that is basically kind of your skin tone this underneath my eye and um, I'm going to list all the products that I use in case you have my skin type like if you are a dark skin girl you know the type of uh, the one you can choose or if you have the ones that you have been using before that is okay you can still use that so I'm blending that into my skin and see your product out is the most important thing when you want to create a makeup look like when you want to get a nice makeup look make sure that you blend very very well your blending should be on point it should be the number one thing because that is where you'll be getting like a perfect bit of your makeup after you might have highlighted your face the next thing to do is to set the concealer immediately so it doesn't freeze out The next step to do is just for you to powder the whole of your face. So make sure that you use the powder brush or the fluffy brush that can go in very well and then you tap. You powder the whole of your face with your skin tone or any powder that you want to use, you set it in. Normally some people like to go in with their brows, like you do your brows before your you do your brows before your foundation and the rest but for me if i'm doing that um if i'm creating a makeup look on myself i like to go in with the necessary things before i draw my brows but if i'm doing that on clients i like to go in for the brows first then add it up with the rest of the thing just to keep the time space when you're blending you have to bring it down to your neck step that you want to do is to bake your face this step is the step that not everybody like to do this because of time this step is very very important if you want to get like that that like that fine and that unique look like makeup guru can never skip this like setting baking your face is one thing that everybody need to do so if you have the time to bake your face bake your face baking your face is part of the process of getting everything that you need to know about makeup you might have bake your face the next thing to do is to contour so to me i don't like to use cream contour because of the oily face that i have but if you have like a dry face it's very very nice Oof. Make sure that you go in with a little amount of contour and start working it in. So I'm blending that in and blending it also to the brow bone. After you might have contoured your face, the next step to do is just to bring it to your eyebrow. So I'm using this eyebrow gel and this is a Kiss Beauty. I like the gel a lot because it gives that that natural brow look. So I'm going to use this. Um, data is money, so you don't have to like waste much of the data. I'm going to do this off camera, and I'll be right back. Brows is on, and this is how I'm looking right now. So the next step to do is just to dust out the setting powder so that your face can be clean. And I'm going to list every product that i use in the description for you check them out if you have my skin tone but if you need a beginner friendly tutorial on what i use on my face just let me know in the comment section and i'll bring that to you
this is how my face is looking right now and the reason is because of that baking when you bake your face it's going to sit in then bring out that underneath eye like your under eye is going to pop it out and give you that nice focused look so the next step that you need to do is just to go in with your eyeshadow like any eyeshadow type that you want to use but for me i want to use like a very soft look and i don't know if that should come on the video i don't really need that like you don't need to do that it's just like a processing of how a makeup should be done like every single details you need to know how you can apply it how you can break it down the time to apply the parts you need to focus on that will give you that nice look that is what this video is all about it's not like i'm going to be sharing with you all the products that i use like okay this is what i'm using but if you need a tutorial on that like i said before please let me know in the comment section and i'm going to bring it to you at this point the next thing that you need is just your eyeliner and your mascara so this is where the step of getting that focused and lifted look and this is where the whole thing is going to be popping in like from the scratch we started from hydrating moisturizing priming and foundation so basically is actually going in on how the look is going to come out and the things that pop them out is just your liner and your mascara then your eyelashes so i'm going to share with you how i do that now we're going to take the mascara part and Put them together when you want to apply your makeup make sure that all these things those things goes hands in hand like there are some that you apply like you can't go in with your foundation then you start applying your mascara no it doesn't work that way it is the process and that is what we are doing today that is what this video is all about like the process of everything that you need to know about makeup next step to take is your eyelashes so how do you apply your lashes that is going to be a topic for another day so subscribe and turn off notification bell so you don't miss out any new video the next step you need to do is to browse all of your face so i'm going to browse my face After your face is intact, the next step that you need to do is to work on your lip. So for my lip, I'm going to use this uh, Fashion Best Color Waterproof Lip Liner. And I think you can use any one that you prefer using because um, there are different types of makeup. Like the one I did now might not be the one you want to do. You might want it lighter than this, you might want it higher or vibrant than this so each whichever that you choose is okay so guys after my lip this is how i am looking right now last but not the least of your makeup should be your highlight this is where the focus part of it comes in like i said you need to oh you need to smile out while the wind is then you tap a little bit to your face not like too much but a little bit of that so guys after the whole thing like from a to z of your makeup this is how you are supposed to be popping out glittering in a nice look like having that skin tone face with your makeup on that is where the professional part of makeup is so if you want to get or if you want to be a good makeup artist this
steps that I mentioned should be noted down. I hope this video is very helpful to someone out there who doesn't even know what the process of makeup is all about. And one thing that I want you to know after this video is that makeup is a creativity and makeup is an art work so you have to build a beauty out of the more then you have like that elegant look just like me i was actually not like this <laughs> guys like i wasn't like this when i started this makeup but look at how i'm glowing in now so that is what makeup is all about you have to build your beauty out of the mold then you get a nice focused look when you step out people start wondering the kind of person you are this video is helpful to you and i hope you enjoyed this video if you like this video please give me a thumbs up subscribe to the channel before you leave and turn off the notification bell share with your friends i'll see you in my next video definitely stay safe and stay active COVID-19 is still on and pandemic is all over the world. So you just have to keep low for X Mars and I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye.